cousin, I am just realizing that I did not do my what's coming up next on Married at First Sight. Honey, it's hot. This is going to be episode 14th, right? Girl, cousin, Vinny said adopting ain't no compromise, honey. He want his own babies. He don't want anybody else's babies. Welcome back to Church Girls and Faith Girls want to get married too. My name is Vinny's. Be sure to subscribe. Today is Sunday, April the 11th. I only have 50 more subscribers to go to make it to 10,000. Share this out. Invite your mama, your grandmother, your cat, your dog. Create an account for them if you have to. <laughs> so I can get to my 10,000. <laughs> ah! Check to make sure you're subscribed, okay? Uh, be sure to watch my other content. You know, I do Ready to Love, honey. Mm. Married to Medicine. Oh, they're so juicy and messy. Child Samoa and Toya was talking about a threesome girl. Check that video out. Mm. And what's coming up next? And then I just have a lot of content from Married at First Sight to come back this week because all the couples lied to the experts last week. Ooh, they just saw a lie, girl. Anyways. Uh, oh, remember my books? Don't you just love this new sharing thing I can do now on my channel? 23 times guys, you buy me. Most of gratitude journal, journal, write your stuff in there. Stop putting your stuff out in the public like Shawnee's and Jeff. This up. Everybody know what's going on in your marriage. Girl, write it and hide it under your bed. Moments of gratitude journal in Christ, the naked uh, wife. And of course, the uh, in Christ I am. I'm currently doing a series on this for Paige, talking about all this stuff. God loved this and all this. God put more than me on all this bull crap. She's talking, girl. It's a whole lot from the pits of hell. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Let's get to it, girl. Honey, I'm ready to go back to my bed. Okay. Okay, next. Um, so that was Haley and um Jacob playing, what do y'all call it? Hit ball, baseball. Mm -hmm. And she was like, Oh, I expected a little bit better, girl. You can't be I can't with Haley. Somebody was playing basketball. Who was playing basketball? That's uh, Eric and the drunk key that needs to go check into AA playing basketball. They're feeling the pressure of having two weeks of making a decision. So we see, we see um, Ryan hugging somebody. I'm assuming, is that the drunk key's mother or sister? Anyways, and then we see who is this playing golf? This is so cute. Haley and Jacob playing golf. Oh my God. Now that the marriage is over, now they're trying to bond, right? Um, Brianna looking at, at, at uh, the bomb, the dusty, the scrub, like she's Jesus. And so we see Eric looking through his airbook, and here go the drunky 95 hours too. Like, why you need to start keep on bringing up your age? Why you need to see to keep doing that? Okay, just just go ahead and get the divorce and get it over. Okay, I can't stand her. And we see Ryan's mother talking to uh Clara, Chatter Clara. Uh, and say, has my son got on your nerve? You know, the mama was surprised he brought home a white girl. You know, remember, guess who's coming to dinner? Uh -huh. Cause the mama was like, Ooh, this is not what we was expecting. And she's laughing. And we see Brianna doing some kind of dance here. She go dancing again for Vinny. Vinny's going to break up the, but he going to tear the building down because you know, it's a little toddler. He huff and huff and huff and huff and, and going to blow the building down. Oh, uh, Brianna looks cute in those, um, uh, what they call the, the the black things that they dance? It look like she's doing tap dance, so she's teaching him how to do tap dance. That's cute, Brian. I like that. <laughs> and they're laughing, and you know he's laughing because you know he don't want her to leave him because of his tantrum. Now this is funny with this part. And Jacob and Haley sitting on the couch and he's asking her, what would you tell yourself the night before you got married? And Haley's like, you have no, you, let me rewind. For you? What would you tell yourself the night before you got married? 
Did you tell yourself the night before getting married? You have no idea what's coming for you. You have no idea what's coming for you. <laughs> Jacob said, what would you tell yourself the night before you got married? And Haley was like, you have no idea what's coming for you. I'm starting to agree with y'all that, honey, shh, shh, the babies are still sleeping. Stop being so loud, girl. Why are you so loud? Shh, everybody's still sleeping. Shh, be quiet. I think I'm starting to agree with you, say Jacob. <laughs> he must got a little one. Because she said, you have no idea what's coming for you. And then Jacob was like, awkward. What would you tell yourself? What would you say? So the never, what's coming for you? And he said it's a bit awkward, but we, you know how they cut and slice stuff up. Yeah. And then we see her. It looks as if she's coming in the door in some shorts. You know, rumor has it she don't live there with Jacob. She only come to tape. And then we see Brianna yeah, see saying, sitting on the couch with Vincent and I'm talking to Dr. Pepper. And he's like, I definitely want kids. And she was like, it's it's a huge fear. I'm going to do a video on that because I'm trying to figure out, is it a fear or is it all the other stuff you, she was talking about? How would you feel about adopting? Dr. Pepper is like, well, how do you feel about adopting? And he said, that's not a compromise. And we see Rihanna looking down. And then we see uh, Ryan telling the harlot, I don't want to get into the habit of telling you I love you. Okay, I don't like how she's pushing that thing. Do they live in a basement apartment? So what's up with these poles? Mm -hmm. And then she's saying she's in love with him, but she don't want to tell him. So you're in love with him, but you don't know if Ryan feels the same way. After he done told you, I don't want to get in the habit of telling you I love you. And he's not having sex with you yet, but you're just pressuring him to tell you that he loves your girl. Make it make sense to me, Harlot. And here we go again with Eric and the drunkie, with him talk, telling her, telling uh, the drunkie, you telling me you're spending the night. Make it, you are a married woman. Whose house you're spending the night at? drunky why did you get married if you want to be spending the night i ain't never spend no night out of nobody's house i have a married bed to sleep in with my husband i can hardly sleep when he's not here child he's been home for a year girl i've been sleeping like a baby mm. because when mike's not here i notice my masculine side, because we all have ladies, we both we have both masculine and feminine feminine. Okay, where most women are nine ninety ninety, let's say ninety percent feminine, ten percent masculine. When Mike's not here, I I the moment I put the key in the door, it's like a masculine coat come over me. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, kids. Come on, kids. Let check the door. Make them sure the doors are locked. The alarm is on. I'm checking the windows. Yeah, we got this. We got this. <laughs> Soon as Mike come home, I'm like, I sleep like a baby. So as a married woman, drunky, please tell me. Whose house do you want to spend? I don't understand it. Make it go away, please. How you want to spend? You are a married man. Other than you have to spend the night at your mama house because she just came out of the hospital. I'm not talking about stuff like that. Your mama got home from the hospital. She needs somebody there. Your sister just had a baby. You need to stay with her. I'm not talking about you, your, your sister is sick. She can't watch the kids. You need to go spend the night. That's not what I'm talking about, okay? Because I know some dumb person is going to come on here and say that. So I'm going to just go ahead and say it, stupid person. That's not what I'm talking about. We all have to do what we need to. If your mama is sick and you need to go over to your mama house and spend the night to be with her, Okay, if your sister is sick, you need to stay the night and watch the kids. That's, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about 
She want to go spend the night at one of her friends' house so they could drink and get drunk. That's what I'm talking about. As a married woman, make it make sense to me, Virginia. Drunk. Make it make sense. I don't know why Eric is prolonged. I know why. Because he's been married before and he don't want to get a divorce again. And so he's trying to... Eric... Eric trying to force Virginia to be the wife. A wife is like Paige trying to force the Charlington to love her. Is like Shawnee's trying to force Jeffith to love her and want to stay with her. And Eric just needs to let this heifer go. I'm telling you, I'm sure there are a lot of women out there right now who would love Eric. I know lots of girls who would love Eric. See, Eric is my type of man. Mm, you just want to be taking care of me, providing for me, and all you need is for me to be home and have you a couple of babies, child. Yeah, how many babies you want? Okay, mm, that's my type of husband, honey. But anyways, I got to go, girl. I'm about to go watch one of the show on my other channel, Allegedly Janice. Check it out. I need to start putting my channel up here, Allegedly Janice. Check it out. And um, and then I'm going back to bed. That time is the best time. Okay, I love you. I got to remember my books. I trust the test you might meet. Okay. Uh, journal, book, book. Bam. Got to go, girl. Love you. Bye.